Did everybody get a reading? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm sorry, I didn't make it. How many people are returning tomorrow who didn't get a reading? Just so I know how many more to make. I'll make them up for tomorrow so you didn't get one today. But I'll read it to you. How about that? <laughs> okay, so um, this is straight from his root text. Uh, and this is where he starts getting to right into it, how to get to stillness. <coughs> Don't let any conceptions drag you into hopes or fears within the state of wavering appearances. Go and test the waters of deeper meditation where there is no movement whatsoever. Just like falling into sleep or losing consciousness, don't try to stop the thoughts which come to mind. Set yourself off at a distance of undistracted awareness. Use the sentry of the mind to catch it running here and there. Then hone in your focus and gaze nakedly upon its true nature, crystal and aware. Whatever mental picture happens to arise Meet it face to face for what it is. Or be like a blade master, chopping off the head of any conceptual thought that dares to show its face. Then, at the end of the battle, when you are staying still, let go, without relinquish relinquishing awareness. Lock it down, then let it loose. This is where you leave your mind. If you release this mind of yours, all tangled up in knots, <coughs> have no doubt that you, you will be released. So loosen up, just as it st states, without getting distracted. And when you look into the face of any thoughts that come your way, they simply vanish by themselves, fading into emptiness. Then, even as you stay there still, investigate the mind you'll see its emptiness unveiled, luminous and clear. Know this is known as mixing and moving with the still. Don't stop, an Im um, don't stop an image if it happens to arise. Recognize it as a movement. Stay in its true nature. It's similar to the metaphor of a bird held, held captive on a boat who tries to fly away. And it's just like a raven who flies from a boat. Once he circles around in every direction, he'll come back to land on it again. So, I'm just, we'll talk about this mostly tomorrow. <laughs> but I do want to talk about that first stanza. Mm. Don't let any conceptions drag you <coughs> into hopes or fears uh, within this wavering uh, state of appearances. You know, he's talking about it from a from two perspectives. One is from a very kind of don't let any thought pull you into the past or into the future. You know, don't sit there and be like oh, I was really mean to that person. <laughs> I wish I hadn't done that. You know, don't let your mind go there. Also, don't be going to the future like, oh, what am I going to have for lunch? You know, like try, if there ever was a be here now practice, it's this one. You know, it's, 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 it's don't let yourself be pulled one way or another. Just stay. And guess what? Yes, there'll be movement of the mind, but within that movement, you'll find the stillness because it's your mind that's still, and the movement itself becomes still too within it. You know, I kind of, uh, I think about um, what's that illness um, where they shake a lot? Parkinson's, Parkinson's thank you. Um, so Parkinson's, it starts off with a slow tremor, yeah, and then it starts building, and then it, it builds, and it builds, and it builds. But what happens? Do you know what happens after that? It gets to the point where you shake so much that you stop, you know? 
like that's the worst state of it where you just kind of become kind of like uh, still in the movement. <laughs> and that's what I kind of think of, where your mind is so, so busy that you're kind of like a Parkinson's. In, in your mind it has Parkinson's, right? <laughs> it's like shaking, 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 shaking. But you can get to the point where there's just like <clears throat> so much movement that the movement itself becomes stillness. You know, does that make sense? Does that mental picture like help? It's kind of like that, where within that movement itself, because there is a flow of movement, the flow becomes the stillness, becomes the, the object itself. So then there is no wavering. But then he's going to something even more subtle than just the obtuse past and present. What he's talking about is like something that happens and it, God, I fell into it and retreat for sure. Where it's this, um, oh, come on, let me get, <laughs> let me get stillness. Come on, come on, you can do it. You know, it's just, it's kind of like this, like, you're thinking it's a holy thought because it's, it's going towards a goal. It's like, you know, it's this little mind that kind of gets you. It's just, yeah, 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 come on, go, go, go. And it's, 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 um, you gotta let those things go too. Like even the thoughts of like, oh, I want to get closer to stillness. Oh, I almost had it. You know, all of these different thoughts. It's like all of those conceptions. You have to let go of everything. So you're letting go past. You've got to let go of the future, and you're letting go of even the reason you're sitting there. Okay? Hard, 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 hard when you're actually there in practice to just be so um, raw in the moment, you know, to really sit without um, any hopes or fears. That's the second thing I really loved about His Holiness, the first Panchalama, fearless. And to reach these states of meditations, you, you, you've got to be fearless. You know, I have so much more to say, but I'm going to stop it there. We're going to end with a meditation. I'm going to lead you through a Mahamudra meditation. Um, and I wish you all to be fearless in your hearts. Yeah. <coughs> Find a comfortable seated position. Make sure your seat is just right. Your arms nice and bowed, hands relaxed. Shoulders back and down, relaxed. Back completely straight like a stack of cords. Relax your jaw. Place your tongue gently against the back row of that top teeth. Relax your eyes deeply into their sockets. Bring your full awareness to your breath. Not trying to control it. You're just watching. So imagine you're in one of those theaters that are like, they have stadium seating, and you're at the very back of it, and you're looking forward to the movie screen. So sit back there. Put your attention back there. And the breath is just something you're watching cross the screen. You're not breathing, you're watching. Try that. You're 
you're seeing the breath as just another object of thought. <coughs> It's already happening. Other thoughts are crossing that screen. Don't fight them, just let them cross. Watch them rise up out of nowhere onto the screen and then just disappear. in the present moment, not getting pulled away by the thoughts. You're just watching the movie screen. Now see if you can't relax more deeply. Into like a deeper state of consciousness, maybe. Still keeping your awareness sharp and bright. that you think are sounds are just images crossing that screen. See them as just that. As each new image arises, from the back of where you're watching from, just ask, who is the one watching these objects of thought? get a very strong feeling of me, I. Let that cross the screen too, it's just another image. Who is the subject state of mind?
What is this awareness? Who is the one that's aware? Hmm. Let the answers arise and fall away. See if you can't catch one image as it begins to arise. If you try to hold it, it'll just disappear. And maybe something else arises right after that. There's this space between the images that point where one disappears before the other arises. Who are you then? in that space in between where there's nothing to be aware of where there's no object so therefore there can be no subject actually can. <coughs> See if you can't put your mind there. If you're having trouble, you can use the sound. The sound is changing, you know, from high to low. You can catch a moment where it goes high, and then the next moment where maybe it goes a little lower. There's a space in between there, too. your bodies, deepen your breath, you can open your eyes. Mm -hmm. Was it difficult to even see the images rise and fall? Did anyone have problems with that? It took me a while to even do that. Um, anybody actually find that space? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> McFly? McFly? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting too long. You're like, it's 935! <laughs> well, anyway, um, I hope you find it. 
I hope you find that space. And I and it's in that space where you can meet your mind. You know. And this is just the first step. And it takes a while. You know, don't 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 be frustrated if you didn't get anywhere with it here. Um, it's hard here. Um, but take it home and play with it. And really really be serious when you ask yourself those questions. Like <coughs> who's watching? Did you feel it? Did you feel yourself assert? Like who's watching? I'm watching. You know, it's it's a, I I can even feel it. You know, where it's just like I'm like whoa, yeah, you you think you're really there watching? You know, and just if you allow that as that asserts itself to just be like who, just another image that crosses your mind, then you start getting to the good stuff. That's the point. Like. Let it assert itself and let it just cross the mind like another sound just crossing the road, you know? <coughs> and then you start believing in that <coughs> less and less and less. And, uh, and, then, and then magic can come in. Um, it's a beautiful practice. Um, I hope to see you tomorrow. You can't come. And that's okay, too. I think are we live tomorrow, too? We'll be live tomorrow. Teddy will be the cameraman. Yay, yes. Teddy. Tomorrow or Thursday? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow and Saturday. Tomorrow and Saturday. Yeah, yeah. tomorrow and Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, thank you. 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 Sinam yeshe zog zog shin Sinam yeshe vejin we Dhamba kuni do parshok Thank you for being here. Thank you for teaching.